Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I am the owner of Modern Lunch Nutrition if you're new here. And this is my first real vlog style video, I guess. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but I felt like we could do a little bit of chat. I wanted to catch you up on some like health stuff. And then why don't we make some healthy holiday recipes together? So if you've been following me on Instagram, you know a little bit that postpartum with my second baby, I just noticed that there was a lot of things that went differently and I was experiencing a lot of like hormonal changes that I didn't after my first and it was a really rocky postpartum for me and I'm 18 months postpartum now and just finally like feeling some relief from it. But there was some major red flag symptoms that I had that I knew like I needed to go see someone about. So my first one was that I was losing weight normally in the first three months that you would after giving birth. And then I started gaining weight like nonstop. It was constant. And I obviously being in my profession, like it was a little upsetting because I knew that I was eating what I needed to eat and I was like back into an exercise routine and I was like, what is going on? I had a little bit of an issue with it in my first postpartum for sure, but I noticed that once I stopped breastfeeding, that's when the weight started coming off and that made sense to me because I had low supply. But with this postpartum, even when I stopped breastfeeding, it just was not a fun time for me and I was obviously very uncomfortable. Like gaining that much weight in such a short amount of time, it's the same when you're pregnant, right? You gain so much weight in such a short amount of time and it's uncomfortable. It's not that I was thinking like, ew, my postpartum body is gross. It's just that I was so uncomfortable and nothing was working and I was at a loss. I had some other red flag symptoms that I kind of knew like this must be a hormonal issue. When I got my cycle back, it was just like so out of whack, which is not normal for me. I was getting headaches and I was feeling extremely fatigued, like to the point where I could not get up in the morning when my kids were getting up. Like I was, it was a struggle and it was a struggle to get through the day. And I was just so sick of feeling that way. So since August, I've dug really deep into just some hormone balancing. I got some blood testing done. I dealt with like a naturopath, saw a doctor, and I've just been on my journey, I guess, to healing. And it is interesting obviously it takes time um i've already lost almost 10 pounds since i really started focusing on hormone balance specifically and there's still some symptoms i'm noticing and every day is different like today i woke up feeling really crappy and it, i think it's because of where i'm at in my cycle and i'm really affected by that right now but i just i was hoping to wake up in the morning before the kids and i was like no it's just not happening today even though i went to bed on time and i had a pretty decent sleep i was just so fatigued and then i wake up like irritable and i had a headache and those days are just not fun, especially when you have children at home to take care of. If you can relate to this at all, like if you're postpartum and it does not matter how far postpartum you are, if you're two months postpartum or if you're 18 months like me, it does not matter. If you can relate to any of this or you're feeling this way, you should definitely hit subscribe and follow me because I'm gonna share like my entire journey of sort of what I've been through and what I've done to really make a major difference in how I've been feeling. I obviously know still too that I have a lot of healing to do 10 pounds weight loss is amazing but because of how much I gained I still feel like I have just a while to go before I feel truly comfortable and just like myself again and there's a lot of other things I'm doing on my journey to feel like myself again it doesn't specifically only have to do with weight it's just like it's like an onion there's a lot of layers to it and I want to take you guys along on the journey so that is just I guess my little health update for right now is that I'm feeling significantly better I guess in a lot of aspects but there's definitely days like this morning where I wake up feeling like ugh I'm just feeling it again also just started a lot of new routines because I was feeling like I don't know, I guess I'm really more of a type B person where I'm not an unorganized person and I do enjoy routine, but I'm also go with the flow and sometimes I find it really hard to stay organized. 
<laughs> my life can be quite chaotic and sometimes when I'm like I'm gonna stick to a routine it just becomes a mess but I've really found certain things that I can stick to every day that are quite simple and have really kind of changed how I felt in the last couple months and just like my motherhood journey my postpartum journey so I want to share all that with you guys in another video for now let's go make some healthy holiday treats for those of you that follow me on Instagram you know that last week I filmed all of these recipes in slow motion so let's not do that again. We're gonna start with the gingerbread energy bites. Okay, so we wanna start with the wet ingredients. Don't judge here, some of it I just kind of measure with the heart. So I do that with peanut butter just because I hate scraping it out of the measuring cup, but you're gonna need roughly half a cup of peanut butter. So I think that is probably perfect. Okay, and then we're going in with two tablespoons of organic maple syrup. And then our molasses. Again, I'm not gonna use the measuring spoon just cause I don't want to clean it out of there, um, but roughly you want two tablespoons. And we're going to mix up the wet ingredients first. Okay, and then the other thing is depending on how creamy or Thick your peanut butter is you might want to have a little bit of milk or plant-based milk like whatever you want to use on hand um, just because organic creamy peanut butter can be a lot thicker than other peanut butters and you might just need like a little bit more wet consistency but we'll just see how that is after I add in the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna do the dry ingredients, which are really easy. I've got one and a half cups of oat flour in here, which is just organic oats that are blended in my mini chopper. <laughs> okay, and then obviously one of the most important ingredients, we are going in with two teaspoons of ginger. I like to go a little bit heavier on the cinnamon so I'm gonna go with just under one tablespoon of cinnamon. And then this is totally optional, but I like to add just under a tablespoon of, tablespoon of flaxseed as well. Okay, and then we go in, I'm gonna start mixing. I can already tell that my mixture is a little bit thick, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of some cashew milk. Okay, we're just gonna mix it up. It takes a while, but it's just gonna mix it up until it's all combined. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like when we are ready to roll. So basically all we have to do now is grab some, roll it up. And this is what they're gonna look like. Okay, let's dive into it. Basically, you need to grab your high speed blender. This one is so easy. So my biggest tip though, is that you need soaked cashews. So just make sure if you're making this recipe, you need to prepare in advance. So I soaked my cashews overnight. Half a cup of soaked cashews. We've got one cup of cashew milk. And then we have half a cup of full fat coconut milk. Then we go in with one cup of water. Okay, medjool dates. This is what's gonna give it the sweetness. We're sweetening it with dates instead of sugar. There's no refined sugar in this recipe at all, which I love. Just make sure that you've pitted your dates because obviously you don't want the pit in there. And you can do as much as you want. I saw that the rest, one of the recipes I was looking at, they used up to six, but I just don't do sweets very well anymore. So I'm doing three half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Also, yes, I need to get cute jars for my spices, but I just don't have them yet, so. Um, splash of vanilla. Those are all the ingredients, so all we're gonna do is pop the lid on and then put it on high speed for as long as it takes to fully mix. Okay, definitely preferable to do this in a nut bag if you have one, um, but I don't, so we're gonna just strain it through here. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God, it's so thick and creamy. Let's pour it into a different container. Mm. 
this is the final product. We're gonna taste it. I already know that it's delicious because I made it last week and we made so many delicious eggnog lattes with it and my husband had some rum and eggnog, but let's try it anyway. When I tell you guys this vegan eggnog is elite, I'm not lying, like it is so good. It's so creamy and I'm definitely gonna try and make a proper eggnog a real eggnog <laughs> but this one is doing it right now let's try it i put a little bit of ice in it obviously because it's not cold yet you want to keep it in the fridge it is just so tasty i love it okay thank you for joining me today and making our two healthier holiday recipes just something that you can enjoy throughout the week um, especially if you're like me and you're just trying to like do a little bit of hormone balancing you're not feeling great you don't want to spike your blood sugar too much but you want to enjoy some healthy holiday stuff then this eggnog and these energy bites are where it's at